Hi, this is Madam Narka, and in this very short lecture video, I'm going to show you how to um, perform calculations that involve density. We know that density is the ratio of mass and volume, and here on the board is a sample problem of density. It says that a sample of aluminum metal has a mass of 8.4 grams and the volume of the sample is 3.1 cubic centimeters. Calculate the density of this particular metal aluminum. So how do we approach this particular density problem? Now I will be showing to you the outline of this particular um, problem solving solution and then let's go over it. So the first one is we need to know what are the given. So on the board you see the given which are the mass and the volume so the mass is shortened as m and it is 8.4 grams volume is shortened as v capital letter v and it has a value of 3.1 cubic centimeter that's always the the unit of volume so these two givens are taken from the problem and so let's after putting all the given variables let's now go to the unknown so the unknown is the problem is asking you to solve for density so density is abbreviated as letter d and we know that so after getting the unknown and we know that we can now solve the problem because we know what we're supposed to solve and what are the given variables so let's go back to the definition of density density is the ratio of mass and volume so density is equal to mass over volume and checking on the units of mass and volume they're compatible with each other we got the correct unit so all we need to do right away is to substitute the values of mass and volume so mass is 8.4 grams which is that the volume is 3.1 cubic centimeter and so we can just divide them in the calculator and then we will get the answer 2.7 grams per cubic centimeter now take note that in the rule of significant figures when we are dividing we have to make sure that it's expressed with the least number of significant figures from the given in which in this problem we don't have a an issue because both of the given have two significant figures so this is the first part of the density problem that you need to solve please take take notes of all these problems so that you'll be ready for the next set of problems thank you bye bye